Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. How are you all? I am Dilap Sa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247, where on a regular basis we discuss and talk about the current financial happenings around us. So, what do we have for today? So, today we are going to talk about three important news articles. If I talk about the conceptual part, there are less. as comes as if we talk about the conceptual part but these are factual static yet important from your exam point of view kyunki aise hi questions aapke exam mein puche jate hain so what are we going to discuss first and foremost we will discuss the, we will discuss the partnership between pfrda and digilocker secondly the partnership between mahindra and mahindra financial services limited with payment bank india post payment bank in order to enhance the credit access and thirdly we'll talk about sbi general insurance making use of whatsapp services in and in partnership with gupshop to provide insurance products to the customers so let's get started with the very first news that says that pfrda which is one of the financial sector regulator has become the partner entity with digilocker So PFRDA का कौन सा सेक्टर पार्टनर बन रहा है सो इट इज देंट्रल रिकॉर्ड कीपिंग एजेंसी तो हर जितने भी सेक्टर्स हैं दे ऑल हैव द रिकॉर्ड कीपिंग एजेंसी एंड द सेंट्रल वन जो हेडक्वार्टर में होता है दैट सेंट्रल रिकॉर्ड कीपिंग एजेंसी विच इज विच इज कनेक्टेड टू ऑल आदर रिकॉर्ड एजेंसी पी एफ आर डी एज एंटर्ड इन टू अ पार्टनरशिप with digi locker in order to provide subscriber centric online services to so, jo bhi subscribers honge pfrda ke whether they are prospective or the existing ones they will be provided with subscriber centric online services online services in line to what the subscriber wants to so, yahan pe subscriber pfrda ke basically pensioners honge to so, unke liye ye benefit aayegi theek hai and this uh, announcement of the partnership was given by the ministry of finance so ministry of finance ne bataya tha inki partnership ki so why have they entered into a partnership so the reason given was that in order to inaugurate or commemorate the 75 years of independence of india and in order to commemorate the azadi ka amrit mahotsav they have entered into this agreement and because of this PFRDA is going to provide two additional features using the डिजी लॉकर तो आप डिजी लॉकर को यूज करके दो अडिशनल फीचर्स की बेनिफिट ले सकते हो फ्रॉम पी एफ आर डी ए द फर्स्ट इज ओपनिंग ऑफ अकाउंट यूजिंग योर ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस वाओ अब तक हम आधार कार्ड का यूज कर रहे थे अपने पैन कार्ड का यूज कर रहे थे एड्रेस प्रूफ वगैरह का यूज कर रहे थे बट नाउ यू कैन ओपन एन अकाउंट विथ एंड विथ पी एफ आर डी ए Using your driving license और ये driving license आपके डिजी लॉकर में होगा तो डिरेक्टली फ्रॉम द डिजी लॉकर द ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस विल बी यूज इन ऑर्डर टू ओपन एन अकाउंट फॉर द कस्टमर द सेकेंड इज अपडेशन ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग एड्रेस सो कई बार क्या होता है हमारा एड्रेस चेंज होता है स्पेसिफिकली कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंस एड्रेस राइट सो इन दैट केस यू कैन यूज योर डिजी योर ड्राइविंग लाइसेंस इन ऑर्डर टू अपडेट योर existing address through the digi locker so this is the basic feature of the partnership between these two entity pfrda first of all aapko full form pata hona chahiye which stands for pension fund regulatory and development development authority of india theek hai and this is your digi locker moving forward i hope the slides are visible if you want to note down वैसे जरूरत नहीं है द पीडीएफ विल ऑल विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू यू ओवर द ओवर द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप राइट तो यहीं से समझो ऑल ऑफ द इंफॉर्मेशन हैज बीन लोडेड इनटू दिस पीडीएफ ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट डिजी लॉकर थोड़ा सा डिजी लॉकर को समझते हैं सो डिजी लॉकर वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस एस अ फ्लैगशिप प्रोग्राम अंडर मेटी वॉट इज मेटी सो मेटी स्टैंड फॉर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी तो उनके अंदर एक फ्लैगशिप इनिशिएटिव लिया गया था एज अ पार्ट ऑफ डिजिटल इंडिया 
and which aimed at transforming India into a digitally empowered and pensioned society. So, digitally empowered society banane ke liye hi DigiLocker ko laya gaya tha. And this DigiLocker provides lots of services. It provides with the services of anytime, anywhere access to your documents. So, jitne bhi aapke documents hai. For example, uh, your mark sheets, your driving license, your Aadhaar card, your bank account details, all of these could be feeded into the DigiLocker and it provides you with the easy access in a secured manner. So, as the tagline says, your documents anytime, anywhere is the feature of DigiLocker and therefore it provides citizens with the private digital space with a consent. So, if you have consent, you will have the documents here. Okay, if we talk about the reach of DigiLocker, then as of now, 13 crore registered users are there and they are using DigiLocker and around 5.6 billion documents have been uploaded on DigiLocker across various sectors, be it central government, state government, education, health, banking, insurance, etc. Okay, so this was about DigiLocker. It is under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So this becomes important for you to understand and keep in mind. Okay, let's move forward and talk about the second news. So this partnership is between one of the leading India's NBN, NBFC, that is a non-bank finance company by the name Mahindra and Mahindra Financial Services Limited. So this NBFC, which is one of the, which caters to the needs of the rural and the semi-urban areas, has come into a partnership or has, uh, has announced its strategic partnership with one of the payments bank, government-owned payments bank, India Post Payment Bank. So, this is a partnership mein aaya hai in order to enhance credit access to the customers. So, in order to provide more credit services to the customers, these two has, have come together. Now, if we talk about India Post Payments Bank, then, then you must be aware. So, there is a one question for you. Can India Post Payment Bank issue or can they provide the facility of credit? You need to answer in yes or no, right? Kya wo credit provide kar sakte hai? Because this strategic partnership says that they are going to enhance the credit access to customers. So, let me tell you the answer. Since these are payments banks, these are specialized banks, they are not authorized to provide any kind of credit. As we all know, payment banks are niche kind of banks, which, which, which are similar to the banking, to the commercial banks, but they undertake only a limited kinds of activities. For example, deposits accept karte hai. They, they, uh, they allow you the facility of transferring remittances or making payments, bill payments, etc. But they do not enter into providing any kind of loans. Apart from that, they also do not issue any kind of credit card. So they can issue you a debit card, but credit card will not be issued by a payment bank. Okay? So let's see what's there in the partnership. So as per this partnership, this payment bank, the India Post Payment Bank will provide lead referral services to the NBFC, Mahindra and Mahindra Financial Services Limited. Lead referral services, very simple to understand. For example, when you use an app, use karte ho, whenever you use an app, so there is a feature of refer and earn, right? You refer the app to someone else. And in return, you might get some benefit or some discounts, some coupon codes, right? Similar is the case with here, case here, whereby IPBB, that is the India Post Payment Bank, will be referring all of its clients to this NBFC, Mahindra and Mahindra, Financial Services Limited and using this lead referral services, MS uh, Mahindra and Mahindra Financial Services Limited will be providing credit for any kind of passenger vehicles, three wheelers, tractor, commercial vehicle loans categories. So, idhar wo loan provide karne ki koshish karega. Okay? Since it is NBFC, loan kaha provide karega? So, it is providing loan in the automobile sector specifically vehicles, uh, passenger vehicles, three-wheeler vehicles, tractors and commercial vehicles. Okay? 
apart from that the india post payment bank will provide the facility of cash emi deposit for example if you are if you have an account in mahindra and mahindra financial services and you have taken a loan for a three wheeler थ्री व्हीलर के लिए सपोज आपको बिजनेस शुरू करना है आपको थ्री व्हीलर चाहिए क्योंकि आप सोच रहे हो उसके थ्रू यू वांट टू अर्न समथिंग राइट नाउ यू टेक इन दिस ऑन ईएमआई बेसिस तो अब क्या फैसिलिटी है व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज द एडवांटेज इज यू डिड नॉट पे ऑनलाइन व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन विजिट एनी ऑफ द इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक वहां जाओ वहां जाके कैश में ईएमआई पे कर सकते हो दिस विल ब्रिंग लॉट्स ऑफ कन्वीनियंसेस and hassle free payment for customers specifically in the rural areas aapko pata hoga jo mahindra and mahindra hai it is one of the rural nbfc jo rural areas ke liye kaam karta hai wahan pe this facility is going to enhance the credit kyunki ab logon ko tension nahi lena ki uh, account se jayega ya payment karna hai they can simply go to any of the india post payment bank aur wahan pe cash mein aapne din ka kamai kamai kiya आपने इकट्ठा किया अगर मंथली ईएमआई है मंथ के एंड में गए कैश लेके इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट के बाद और वहां पे कैश में आपने डिपॉजिट करा दिया अपनी ईएमआई तो दिस फैसिलिटी विल आल्सो बी प्रोवाइडेड एज पर दिस पार्टनरशिप ठीक है एंड दिस विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू ऑल द एग्जिस्टिंग महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा कस्टमर्स एट पोस्ट ऑफिस ऑफ आई ठीक है लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड सी वॉट एल्स इज देर so since this is a pilot scheme uh and this will be initially launched in two of the post in two of the ipbb in two states in two in in branches of ipbb in two states that is of maharashtra and madhya pradesh to so, maharashtra aur madhya pradesh mein launch kiya jayega initially and within the next 4 to 6 months it will be launched in other states as well so jitne bhi आई पी बी भी होंगे इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट्स बैंक होंगे महाराष्ट्र और मध्य प्रदेश में वहां पे ये फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड की जाएगी वट विल बी दैसिलिटी ई एम आई डिपॉजिट दैट टू इन कैश सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द बेनिफिट वट विल बी दैनिफिट फॉर आई पी बी बी सो द बेनिफिट फॉर देम विल बी सिंस दे के नॉट गिव एनी काइंड ऑफ लोन इट विल एक्सपैंड इट्स फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट पोर्टफोलियो तो पेमेंट बैंक का एक और जो एक्टिविटी है दैट इज टू एक्ट एज अ बिजनेस कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट तो यहाँ पे वो एज अ बिजनेस कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट ही काम करेगा फॉर महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा एंड देर बाई इट विल एक्सपैंड इट्स फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट पोर्टफोलियो विद इन द पेमेंट बैंक लाइसेंसिंग फ्रेमवर्क एंड सेकेंडली विद द लॉन्च ऑफ कैश मैनेजमेंट सर्विसेज द कस्टमर्स ऑफ महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा कैन विजिट एनी ऑफ द पोस्ट ऑफिस पोस्ट ऑफिस को विजिट करके डिपोजिट कर सकते हैं अपने ई एम आई पेमेंट्स को दैट टू इन कैश इफ ए टॉक अबाउट आई पी बी बी ये आपको पता होना चाहिए इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन ट्वेंटी एंड इट्स इज इन न्यू डेली यूजली मुंबई होता है इसका न्यू डेली है बहुत सारे कमर्शियल बैंक की मुंबई होती है सो हेड क्वार्टर इज इन न्यू डेली एंड दिस इज ओन्ड एंटायरली बाई द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया तो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया की है ये पेमेंट बैंक एंड इट वॉज इट इज ओन्ड बाई गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हाउ through the department of post ministry of communication please remember this this is important right let's move forward and understand about payments bank thoda sa payments bank ke bare mein jante hain ki kaun si committee associated hoti hai payments bank se payments bank ka already humne baat kar liya hai that it is a distinct type of bank with restricted activities which is permitted to them as per the banking regulation act of 1949 apart from that which committee recommended the establishment of payments bank so it was none other than the nachiket more committee theek hai to ye naam please please yaad rakhna this is important very important for your exam theek hai and it this was the committee that recommended ki ek payment bank hona chahiye that serves the needs of the rural people the unorganized sector the low income individuals as well as the small businesses to inke liye hi ye bank banaya gaya tha if we talk about the activities that they undertake so it consists of acceptance of deposits payments remittance services internet banking services and acting as a business correspondent for other banks and nbfcs theek hai and talking about credit risk as i have mentioned they cannot grant loans and therefore 
they the credit risk is zero so they are not involved in any kind of credit risk and at most it can carry out all of these banking operations but cannot cannot advance loans or issue credit cards so they can issue atm cards they can issue debit cards but they cannot issue credit cards i hope this is clear to you theek hai apart from the subsidiaries jaise bahut sare banks ki khud ki subsidiaries hoti hai can payments bank have their own subsidiaries so they cannot have subsidiaries in order to undertake any kind of nbfc activity to bahut sare nbfc activity hoti hai usko agar undertake karne ke liye subsidiary chahiye so they cannot have any kind of subsidiaries and lastly what was the objective और क्यों इनको लाया गया इट वॉज जस्ट टू फर्दर फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन इन टू दंट्री टू प्रोमोट एंड टू मेक पीपल फाइनेंशियली लिटरेट टू प्रोवाइड सर्विसेस ऑफ फाइनेंशियल टू प्रोवाइड फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेस टू द पीपल टू टू दो पीपल हु आर नॉट एबल हु आर अनएबल टू रीच राइट पीपल लाइक माइब्रेंट लेबर वर्क फोर्स द लो इनकम हाउस होल्ड स्मॉल बिजनेसेस द अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर्स एक्सेट्रा ठीक है So this is about the payments bank let's move forward and talk about the third partnership so this partnership is between sbi general insurance and gupshap now what is this gupshap so gupshap is one of the leader in conversational engagement so any kind of conversation jo hum karte hain usme ye ek leader hai theek hai and sbi general insurance has come into a partnership with gupshap in order to provide insurance facility in order to enhance the insurance facility through the whatsapp so jo ye gupshap hai it will provide you with the chatbot and they have tied the knot in order to enhance its insurance buying option so is tarike se they are trying to be more personalized with needs of the customers provide convenience and hassle free payments uh, subs- subscription to the insurance products that they are offering and it says that it is going to enhance the insurance buying option what does enhancement means it means that it is not the first time that sbi general insurance will be making use of whatsapp services in the year 2020 as well general uh, sbi general insurance has made had made use of whatsapp chatbot in order to for the in order to provide insurance in order to provide general insurance to the customers theek hai So now, with the engagement of Gupshap conversational chatbot, customers can purchase new insurance policy. They can even renew an existing one. They can intimate claims. They can ask for claims. They can settle their claims, and many much other features all within the WhatsApp. So WhatsApp services को use करके general insurance insurance को बेचने की कोशिश की जा रही है, right? And this is going to be very con- this is going to provide convenience to the customers. उनको कोई इंश्योरेंस कंपनी विजिट नहीं करना डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द फोन एंड आल्सो विद लॉट्स ऑफ इनोवेटिव फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स नाउ यू कैन सी हाउ मच कन्वीनियंस दिस टाइप ऑफ इनोवेटिव फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेज आर प्रोवाइडिंग टू द कस्टमर्स आपको सारी चीजें वहीं पे मिल जाएगी जैसे आप व्हाट्सएप चैट करते हो यूजिंग दैट सेम कन्वीनियंस जो वो फीलिंग है दैट फैसिलिटी इज प्रोवाइडेड हियर एज वेल ठीक है so this for so this is just an example this is not necessarily of sbi general insurance yahan pe you just need to write a hi sbi general insurance ka hoga you just need to write a hi customers across the country can write a hi at this number and the bot the gupshap bot will guide the users so there will so there will be a lots of options given to you whether you want to purchase in any kind of new insurance products or you want to renew any of your old one or you want to claim uh the the claim the insurance that you have taken and many much features will be provided through this simple and secure buying process theek hai to whatsapp ki ye facility aapko milegi and this is going to ensure end to end policy purchase happens matlab end to end ka kya matlab hua from application to the uh, final approval of the insurance will be given to you प्रोडक्ट फीचर से लेके पॉलिसी डॉक्यूमेंट सबमिट करने तक सब कुछ आपके व्हाट्सएप से हो जाएगा सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू क्या याद रखना है आपको दी नेम ऑफ दी एंटिटीज तो यहाँ पे एस बी आई जनरल इंश्योरेंस है एच डी एफ सी इंश्योरेंस नहीं है तो ये सारे नाम आपको याद रखना पड़ेगा दिस आर इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेसिफिकली फ्रॉम फेज वन ऑफ योर आर बी आई एग्जाम ठीक है लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड टू दी क्वेश्चन सो दे आर सर्टन क्वेश्चन फॉर यू You need to answer down in the comment section. The first question says, 
which of the following financial sector regulatory body partnered with DigiLocker in order to offer subscriber-centric online services to commemorate Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav. Options are given to you. Either it is SEBI, RBI, Ministry of Finance, IRDAI or PFRDA. Okay, let's move forward to the second question which says, which of the following features would be provided under the recent partnership of PFRDA and DigiLocker? First, account opening using NPS account through DigiLocker or account opening using driving license through DigiLocker or updation of existing address through the DigiLocker and updation of existing address using key EYC, EKYC through DigiLocker. So you need to identify the correct, which of the following features. So which are the correct features? You need to identify that and mention it down in the comment section. The third question which says which of the following NBFC has recently partnered with India Post Payment Bank to enhance credit access to customers. So these are the options you need to identify the correct NBFC and the next question for today is recently IPB, IPPB that is India Post Payment Bank in partnership with Mahindra and Mahindra launched a pilot scheme to enhance the credit access to customer. So this scheme will be initially launched in which of the following states? Again, very simple. We have talked about this, right? And the last question for today, the question says, which of the following statement is correct with regard to the India Post Payment Bank? The first, it is a kind of small finance bank. Second, it can accept deposits as well as grant loans. Third, credit risk is not involved with such kinds of banks. And fourth, IPPB can issue both debit as well as the credit cards. You need to identify the correct statements from here. Okay? So this was all for today that I wanted to discuss with you. Answers are already shared in this PDF. In case of any doubt, you can always write it down to me in the comment section or over the discussion forum and even the telegram group, right? Uh, keep learning. This was all that I wanted to share with you today. Take care and bye-bye.